Hello, royal folks. It's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of royal news and analysis. But before we start, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon. Thanks. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry managed to snatch defeat from the jaws of victory less than 24 hours after a stunning appearance at a glamorous gala in New York last week. On the Tuesday, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex dazzled during the 50th anniversary of the Miss Foundation for Women's Award Ceremony, where Meghan received the Women of Vision Award. A radiant Meghan was pictured beaming throughout the event, while a visibly proud Prince Harry supported his wife alongside her mother Doria. On the Wednesday morning, Meghan and Harry's triumphant and powerful appearance dominated the headlines with the vast majority echoing the sentiment that the gala had been a huge success for the couple. However, by Wednesday evening, the discussion had swiftly moved on to a strongly worded statement issued by a spokesperson for Prince Harry, where it was claimed the Sussexes had been in a near-catastrophic car chase for two hours the night before, and almost a week later the fallout that followed is still dominating coverage. The immediate reaction to the statement was one of concern for the couple's safety, as well as a scramble to obtain more information on what had happened during the incident. However, as further details landed, contradictions began to emerge. The New York Police Department's Julian Phillips said there were no reported collisions, summonses, injuries or arrests during what the Sussexes had led all their relentless pursuit, lasting over two hours. Sukcharn Singh, a taxi driver who drove one of the three vehicles Meghan and Harry were in during the two-hour period, described their account of what happened as exaggerated. Singh went on to warn the public don't read too much into that regarding the couple's statement, as well as saying he never felt in danger and would not call what unfolded a car chase. The couple suffered another embarrassing blow when the paparazzi agency Backgrid publicly replied to Meghan and Harry's demand to hand over all photos and videos taken by their photographers during the incident. Backgrid's witty response declining the request and telling Prince Harry his English rules of royal prerogative to demand that the citizenry hand over their property to the crown were rejected by this country long ago, left the couple open to further mockery. King Charles and Prince William reportedly did not reach out to Prince Harry regarding the car chase, which adds another layer to the incident and provides a reminder that the royal family has washed their hands of the Sussexes. Despite Meghan being crowned a woman of vision, in hindsight, she and Harry may feel their latest move missed its mark. So what do you think about this news, guys? Please share your thoughts in the comments and let me know what you think. Until then, thanks for watching. We'll see you again with some more fascinating news about the royal family. Thank you.